I'm a friend and welcome to part number you know 26 in this uh, series so I hope that you have uh, actually you have been following along with me since uh, the first episode and in this one uh, we are going to be finishing the reply feature it was a very small feature so now we are going to be uh, trying it we will fix er all the errors that are related to it so we can move forward to the next feature so without any further ado let's get into it but as we used to do don't forget to join this humble and small channel you can subscribe right now to this channel and also turn on the bell icon so if i post something new on this channel you'll be the first one to be notified so do that and let's go so uh, this was uh, the last thing that we have done so uh, if you want to if you want to how to take this from here to there copy and paste that's all you have to do so uh, now i want to work on the logic of just creating a reply so uh, the reason or uh, the method I'm gonna be using is very simple. So when you come to either one of these, you could you can just long press on each one of them. Uh, you know, depending on which one you want to reply to, and that will show us. You know, the show a bottom sheet called uh, reply. So no, no, it's just reply. Uh, mm, I think it is gonna be replies. So let's check it out. So yes no no it's not it's not this one uh so let me just uh, check the name of that i have forgotten it so it's, it's called message reply so uh let's go back to wh how where we were first so and we can come here and, and choose message reply so and it has one parameter which is what you want to reply to so obviously the 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 message that we have long pressed on so we can reply to is the message that we are going to be replying to it's basic it's, it is very easy to understand so we want to be replying to the message we have long pressed on and to get the that data is to come here and say and just get the messages preference so that's all you need to do so i think it's just uh, it is all it is very simple copy and paste the same action you know to this side and it will work totally fine now that's not all we still need to make only one last step and this step is going to be to create that uh, reply so here it is uh, just like how we did previously you go here to the submit after you have submitted your reply you can just create of course you will be uh, dismissing that component but first you need to you know create that reply so we want to create a new one so replies belongs to the messages and for the chat we I, I don't think so yes we need to know the chat under which we can create that message so to do thing to do this we need to use a component so a new one so you can have you can say chat ID and you can use a document reference from chats of course and then you can just confirm now don't worry we need to pass that parameter but we will do all of that now let's stick to our action flow so here the chat is the one that we have just used as a component parameter so because we cannot create a message uh, uh, in a random uh, place that message will belong to a chat we need to know we need to definitely know that chat so after we have specified the collection and the chat reference let's now show uh, showcase all of uh, you know uh, the fields and just pick those we will need right so there are a lot of things and uh, so we, we need this this so yes we can I actually I haven't seen the 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 utility of having this field but we'll keep it anyway it's very easy so we will keep this we will not be replying with an image nor an audio the type will be a text and now we will specify the uh, the message we have replied to of course and the type uh, are we replying to uh, you know a text image you know stuff like that um, but i think that we don't need that field so i have just got an idea i will do it later but we will not uh, we will delete that field we don't we, will, we I don't I haven't seen uh, any uh, use of it but now let's I will fill uh, just these things 
they are very easy and basically I will uh, fill all of them but this one may be a bit difficult so for the thickness we have we have replied two is going to be this one so we have this uh, message we will pick it up and put it here in this field so for the rest of the fields I will fill them and then come back to you so just to help you out this is just uh, you know the information of the authenticated user the message text is going to be from a widget state you, you know that text field time step is current time type is text so we have now created a reply now we can just dismiss so that's very easy so it is something to explain here and now i want to first you know pass the parameters so i want to pass that chat id so we are going to take it from this page and pass it all the way to uh, that new component so we have it so from that we don't take it from the page we have a chat id so do, for those of you who are not understanding what i'm saying this means you haven't seen previous videos make sure you watch them all so that's a serious of course you need to watch from one to until the end if you want to comprehend everything so for, for this one I come here and say chat id that is awesome that's very good so now what i should do is to go and delete that field so i don't see any any use of it so the type and once i have deleted it i don't think i will have any errors because Flutter flow see nothing no use of it so just delete it right we don't need to know the message type the, you know the the message that we have replied to we don't need to know its message it's no its type because we already have this we can just do a backend call and then we can know its type and if you know um, if you are not sure what i'm talking about so you can see it from here so for this one we can come here you see we have done a backend call for the message that we have replied to and from there we can specify the type so there is no need to add another field i don't see any of any any use of that so i think that that's everything we need to do at this stage now what i will do is to run a test mode and see if i can reply to a certain message so i hope it will, it will work fine and when it comes to design you can choose it however you like and make sure you share this with me on twitter so that's my profile you can share it with me the link will be in the description down below so make sure you share your results your new design with me and i may take that as the new design for this one because the design of this app is totally a mess i i didn't spend enough time designing this app but uh there is nothing to worry about you can make a change of it about it the important thing for me is to get or to know the logic if you get that then the rest is okay right so now let's stop this video and move on to the next step not not this video sorry sorry so let's actually move on to the next step so uh, let's actually go to our conversation so and yes we can try to do something here so and uh, well why these are empty i don't know why so maybe i have so let's just uh, try to type in something here and say just uh, to try so yes it's it is functioning let's say i wanted to oh my god i have forgotten one thing so i will show it to you in a second so maybe i wanted to reply to this one um i didn't get it right uh, so even though i'm not saying anything here useful so uh, no problem so we can click enter here see i am replying to this one uh i don't know why this is showing up i haven't given an action to this one right so that's why we test we test to see the re the, the problems but you know th let's now uh, reply to this image uh, just uh, say something that makes no sense image that's the error you see here i don't see this image that's the problem and uh, so that, that's the problem and that's the problem again that's always bothering my uh, my videos i don't know why so here you see that we can like uh, we can record an audio and reply to that one so we can see if we can reply to our message or not so but let me, let me actually take a look at how we can reply to something that is already a reply maybe so we can just 
uh, say something there? Yes, it 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 considered that as no uh, as uh, a, a message. So we can just uh, uh, start speaking, and you know, you see this bug makes no sense by the way, and this also makes no sense why that's not showing that real icon. So we can just click there. This was you know uh what's happening so this just may it may be just a glitch so we can still come back to our app and once we are we are actually there we can just fix the the image issue so which is this one here this needs to be you know the the image <laughs> you know uh we should go right inside that message this one not this one so this one because we want to see the message the, the you know the image of the message we have replied to not the one we are typing so yes that one so luckily we have this uh, highlight effect so we can know what we are doing we can go to message image uh, right there so uh the same goes for the other one so come here you know uh no, it's not that one. It's not that one. I think uh, here it is. So that one. So it is for this one. For this side, no, I want to make it for the other side. So this is for the user. I think we have made it. So we can go to the yes, that one. Right, that one. Can come back again. Look at the highlight, and now we can select the message image. Now. Let's see if that glitch, glitch. Sorry, I said glitch. If so, what's happening here? So I don't know. So uh, maybe it's because of uh, the audio or whatnot. So let's see. So we can, even if we have done something, it will not show up. Uh, well. Uh, I need to run a test mode for in order for me to know the error. So let's actually run a test mode and see what we got. So I think that uh, this glitch is gonna be uh, here forever, and I think that there is nothing to worry about. Uh, you know, do another test mode and you are good to go. So maybe create a new chat. But I think that for replies and stuff like that, you can do it. Uh, just like how we wanted it to, to wanted it to be, and I think that at this stage it's enough. So we have done a reply feature. Make sure you go and customize it however you want. So I have given you the basics. Maybe in the next uh, few episodes we will be taking a look at new features. If you have any idea of any features, so make sure you put this in the comment section below. This place is almost done because I think that. There is no reason why we should keep it going more than how long it already is. So I hope that you have enjoyed this, and uh, maybe it will be, uh, you know, it will finish by you know, like five to ten episodes more. Anyway, so I hope that you have enjoyed this. So this is Friday. I hope that you will have a very wonderful weekend. So before you go, if you just appreciate my work and the things that I have, I do. Uh, for you so you can support my work if you can of course you can support my work the link will be in the description so you will support, support me on coffee so i can keep creating more content for you to learn no code for free so thank you my friend so much for your attention and time and take care of yourselves